dropping things everywhere. Hey guys, it's Jess. I am here today with my April wrap-up and my May TBR. Uh, my April wrap-up was not so great. As you'll notice, I'm somewhere new. We moved. This is hopefully going to be my new setup now. Moving around a little, trying it out. Uh, but because the, of the fact that we moved, my April wrap-up is sh much shorter than it usually is. I only fully read four books, really three books and a novella, and then got halfway through the last one. But hopefully May will be a little better. <laughs> so let's get started. Uh, the first book I read was Ravencliff by Carol Goodman. This is the second in the Blythewood series. Uh, this is about a boarding school of magic. It's very Harry Potter-esque. I wouldn't directly correlate it. It's a girls' school of magic, and they learn about shadow magic, bells, darklings. Those are kind of buzzword keywords that they use a lot. So I liked it. Uh, it was not as good as Blythewood, but it was still okay. Then I read Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Sands. I did not like this. Um, I think I went into it with high expectations because so many other booktubers just loved it. But I was not as impressed, unfortunately. But I did read it. I did try it. It was okay. I think the hype made me really not like it as much. Then I read Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This is the story about Lavanya. I really liked this. I thought it was great. This is the novella I read. Uh, it was really great. It was great to learn about Lavanya and who she is and why she is the way she is. So that was awesome and I was really excited to learn it and I zipped through this one. And then the fourth one I read was Lies I Told by Michelle Zink. This is an advanced reader's copy and it is amazing. I did do a full review. It is so good. You need to pick it up. If you're into mystery thriller kind of stuff, this is a book for you. It is amazing. I don't often read mystery or thriller so I was super <laughs> excited and super impressed with everything that happened. This is a story about uh, basically a crime syndicate family, which I thought was super awesome. Who does that? Um, and basically his family goes from town to town pulling one over on their neighbors and then jets. And it was really interesting. There's a lot of twists and turns. I thought the writing was really good and the dynamics were great, the family dynamics and all that kind of stuff. Highly recommend this. Definitely pick up Lies I Told by Michelle Zing. Uh, and then the last book I tried to read during the week of our move um, and didn't quite get through was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. I am only about halfway through. I will definitely be finishing this this week, uh, so this will be the first of my TBR slash wrap up. I'm going to be traveling to DC this week for work, so I'm going to have a lot of extra downtime, so I'm definitely going to finish this, and then along with that, I am borrowing The Hitchhiker's Guide, uh, The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide, so it's all five books wrapped up into one, uh, and I'm borrowing this from my sister. I really enjoy the movie. And so I'm going to see how much the book correlates. This is going to be a DC read, too. It's a pretty thick book. It's like 820 pages, so I'm hoping to get that done while I'm in DC. Uh, fingers crossed. That and Harry Potter. And then the last book I'm going to bring to DC with me is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This book, I love the idea of this book. It was on my TBR for last month, so I'm just bringing it on over. Uh, this book is about a traveling theater troupe who gets stuck in the apocalypse and uh, it just seems like really unique really interesting so I'm super excited to read that and then I am also going to pick three books out of my new TBR during the move my TBR exploded and things went everywhere so I had to redo it and I put it in this nice plastic box not a glass jar so I'm going to pull let's see I'm probably going to pull three books out of here and hope that I can get to all those so First we have Half a Heart. This is a historical fiction. Uh, I know it's about a slavery kind of era or time and that person, that slavery story. This is a bit larger. It's 400 pages. Not to say that's a big book, but it's a pretty decent sized book. Um, and the font is really small, so this might put a damper on my speed through, but we'll go for it. Next. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I was so hoping to get this. Next is the first in the Song of Ice and Fire series. So next is gonna be A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I have watched the TV show, so I'm really excited to see how the book differs. Uh, this is also a huge book, and we're gonna put the stop on my TBR there because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get through anything else if I'm gonna be reading this. And if I can, then more power to me, but I am not expecting that to happen. This is a huge hunk of a book. So, but I'm really excited to read this. Super, super excited. Can't wait. So there we go. There's my TBR. Tell me what you're reading this month. What did you love that you read last month so we can keep adding on to my TBR? Goodness knows it's not long enough, right? Um, and that's all I have today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!